Tonight, a fallen deputy killed just riding his bicycle. The Volusia County Sheriff says the 75-year-old driver that slammed into the deputy blew through a stop sign going 40 miles an hour. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anka. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday evening. A legendary Volusia County deputy of 22 years, Frank Schofield, was killed while riding with another officer this morning. They were training for a September 11th Memorial bike ride later this year. News 6's Nadine Giannis is live at the crash scene on Tomoka Farms Road and Pioneer Trail in Daytona Beach. Nadine, the sheriff we saw had a tough time talking about Deputy Schofield just a few hours ago. You know, in fact, Eric, Sheriff Mike Chitwood was riding his bike this morning and saw Deputy Schofield along with another officer also on their bikes. And they yelled at him, hey, come join us for the ride. But the sheriff couldn't. He had another meeting to get to, so he kept going, only getting a phone call 30 minutes later that Deputy Schofield had been hit. I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I can't imagine the pain that his family uh, and his, uh, those who really, really love him feel today. Sheriff Mike Chitwood choked back tears talking about the great loss of 58 year old senior deputy Frank Schofield, killed while riding his bike with another Daytona Beach police officer this morning. They were training to go up to do the 9-11 memorial ride September 6th, 7th and 8th in New York. In fact, Chitwood was also riding his bike and seen the two just 30 minutes before. And they yelled over, come on with us, we're, we're going to knock out 35 today. And I'm like, I can't, I got to be somewhere at 9 o'clock. And it's not 30 minutes later that one of my division chiefs calls and said, Frank just got hit and it's not good. That was at about 740 this morning. Uh, the impact was so incredible that it, it, it broke his bike in two and ripped his seat post off. The Florida Highway Patrol saying a 75 year old driver had blown through a stop sign here at Tomoka Farms Road and Pioneer Trail. Chitwood said the driver was going about 40 miles an hour when he slammed into Deputy Schofield and the driver's granddaughter was also in the car kept apologizing on scene. He kept saying it was an accident, it was an accident, it was an accident, oh my God, it was an accident. Deputy Schofield was pronounced dead in the operating room at Halifax Medical Center around 1030, Chitwood said. And Chitwood said that Deputy Schofield had started at the Volusia County Sheriff's Office in 1995, and he loved being a part of the Marine unit, and that's where you saw the pictures with him and kids. He loved being on the water. He also loved cycling, known across the country for riding uh, with other law enforcement agencies for different charities. Eric, a, tra a traumatic and tragic loss here in Volusia County. We're told that that 75-year-old driver will be facing charges. Back to you. Nadine Giannis live for us tonight in Daytona Beach. Nadine, we'll see you at 11. Thank you.